What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on the map to veganism. My name is Trevor and I teach people how to be vegan. And in today's video, I wanted to show you an exclusive sneak peek inside of vegans refrigerator and freezer and then my pantry. So let's jump right in. So first off, boom. I got some Miyoko's butter right here. Hands down the best vegan butter on the market. Miyoko's butter, great for baking, great for toast, and delicious. And this one is also the same Miyoko's butter, but it's a spreadable for a little bit easier to spread for toast and things like that. So I got both going on right now. I got some vegan yogurt. This is my personal favorite. So delicious is the brand. This is um, coconut milk yogurt alternative and a vanilla flavoring. Uh, my personal favorite, so delicious, really good brand. I got some vegan cream cheese. This is uh, the Tofuti brand. Uh, also one of the best out there as well. Again, you can get this stuff. Like I got this at Food for Less, Food for Less. I got the Miyoko's at Food for Less. Trader Joe's used to carry it. I don't know why, but they just recently stopped. But pretty much most grocery stores are carrying this stuff nowadays, which is awesome. Got this dairy-free garlic and herb cheese spread for some crackers. Super good. This is from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's carries this. And it's made with follow your heart cheese. Really, really good. I got some Just Egg. This is delicious. Uh, it cooks just like egg. That's why I call it Just Egg. It tastes like an egg. Great, great egg replacement if you want to make like a bacon, egg, and cheese, um, bagel sando, super good. If you wanna make omelets or a scramble or breakfast burritos. This morning my wife made a breakfast sandwich since you just, you cook it just like an egg. It's really good. Again, I got this uh, at Food For Less. Kombucha, always got kombucha. Next up we got this hearty minestrone soup. Fresh vegetables. Beans, rice, quinoa, pasta, vegetable broth, and kale. Super good. This uh, found this at Trader Joe's. A soup. Super easy, quick dinner if you're uh, in a hurry. We got some leftovers, some quinoa. Oh, check these out. Some leftover chocolate cupcakes. They're so moist and delicious. The best chocolate cupcakes I've ever had. You can get these, uh, the recipes on my Instagram, the Map to Veganism, head over there. I got the recipe on there, check them out. I just made them a couple days ago, they're delicious. The leftover smoothie from yesterday, also on my Instagram. All my recipes are on the Map to Veganism, Veganism Instagram. I've never had this before, but I just got it from Trader Joe's. It's a rainbow wrap. I was trying to come up with some like quick and easy lunch ideas, or if you need to take something with you to work. So how to be vegan at work. This at Trader Joe's right here. This is a really good snack. You just buy some dates. They, uh, they're really, really good. They taste like caramel. Um, you can cut them open, take the seeds out or the pits out, put peanut butter. Really, really good with peanut butter. Really good with the apples. Or throw them in a blender with a little bit of oat milk and it, it literally makes a caramel sauce. Dates, you can do a lot with dates. Really healthy for you. Really good snack. Again, take it with you to work. Um, the only bread I eat, well, I shouldn't say the only, but usually, this is what this is my go-to bread. Pretty much all I eat. Ezekiel bread. Sprouted grains. It's delicious, really good for you. And most people are avoiding gluten these days because of how it's processed. It's crappy processed wheat, what they do to it, genetically modify it. But um, you can eat this bread, if you're avoiding gluten, you can still eat this bread because it's naturally sprouted grain. It's how it's supposed to be. It's what our bodies actually need. So unless you're celiac and you can't do any gluten, but if you're gluten free like most people, just because they don't want to eat it because it's not good for you, you can still eat this bread. This is bread really good for you. Um, this is one of the kinds. They have a lot of different kinds. This is the sesame one. My personal favorite is the one that comes in the yellow bag. It's just a little bit softer and my favorite. Some, uh, I'll show you this anyway, it's kind of ripped, but follow your heart, uh, American vegan slices. Super good for grilled cheese or breakfast sandwiches or lunch, you need to make a sandwich to go for lunch. Some um, hummus from Trader Joe's, great uh, snack to go with carrots or in a wrap. Uh, a couple different kinds of tofu. This is an organic sprouted tofu. Um, 
and this is really good like uh, you can do anything with tofu literally I do I do a lot of breakfast burritos with tofu or I'll cube it up and make it with like rice and broccoli or this one it's already uh, this is a teriyaki seasoned one so you just cut this up cook it real quick with some rice and broccoli quick and easy dinner idea boom organic organic Trader Joe's um, shredded vegan Parmesan Trader Joe's and delicious. So they have they have Parmesan and they also have a mozzarella. Super good, it melts really good. I, we use this for pizza, homemade pizza. And they also have some orange uh, cheddar slices as well. I got here some Tofurky deli slices. Uh, I use these for sandwiches. So again, if you need to take something with you to work, um, you know, some, the, pair this with those cheese slices, some avocado, uh, Vegan mayo, veganese, follow your heart. Slices, lettuce, tomato, avocado, spinach, delicious sandwich, I do those a lot. Also tofurkey, it's a plant-based barbecue chicken. Just throw it up, heat it up, cook it for a couple minutes, you can do anything. Whatever you wanna do with chicken, you can throw this on a barbecue chicken pizza. Um, I mean, whatever, chunks of tender plant-based chicken, delicious. Again, get this at most grocery stores. Uh, sour cream, I really personally like sour cream and like burritos, so I've always got some sour cream on hand. Trader Joe's orange juice, Joe's oat milk. Uh, I My favorite uh, milk is, my favorite non-dairy milk is oat milk. So I get this one from Trader Joe's or Oatly. It's also, the best one is Oatly, hands down. And you can get that food for less or whatever grocery store you go to. Get that oat milk. And I make avocado toast pretty much every morning. I, uh, I put all, after I put the avocado, boom, throw on some micro greens, micro greens, super good for you. Get your greens in for the day. Just some more leftovers. I made some spaghetti and meatballs last night. Super good. Also on my Instagram, head, head over to Instagram. That's where all my recipes are. Bomb, bomb, bomb spaghetti and meatballs. The meatballs were like, you wouldn't even know they were vegan. That's how good they are. Always got some maple syrup, pancake, coconut cream for the, those uh, chocolate cupcakes I showed you. I made the frosting with coconut cream and chocolate chips. That's it. Also on my Instagram, <laughs> I'll put the link in the description box below. Flax is a must. This is something I always have on hand because this is what I use for my egg replacement. You mix one tablespoon of this with three tablespoons of water and let it sit for a few minutes and it creates the same consistency as an egg. So whatever, whenever I'm baking something like those cupcakes, or last night I threw these in the meatballs for, to bind. Really, really good egg replacement. That's not gonna, um, you know, change anything. I got some vegan chocolate chips. Semi-sweet chocolate chips from Trader Joe's. Let's see how these taste. Yeah. This is what I use for the cupcakes. Super good. Um, Primal Kitchen Vegan Ranch. Super good. And then this vegan Caesar dressing. Also very good. I use this on my kale quinoa salad. Again, head on over to Instagram. But a vegan Caesar dressing right here. Some organic vegetable broth for soups. Got some broccoli here from Trader Joe's. You know, like we always make rice, tofu, broccoli. Greens, Trader Joe's has a lot of good, like, you know, kale for salads or greens, whatever you need greens for. Mixed baby kale. Sometimes I use my juicer. I've got some ginger. Apples and oranges for snacks. Take it with you to work on the go, you know. Also really good, seltzer water. Um, I know some, these are really popular right now, like the LaCroix and Ahas. But these are so much better from Trader Joe's because they don't have the natural, the natural essence. The natural essence. These are, uh, it actually has organic blood orange juice and organic orange juice. You know what's in it. And they taste better. That's it for the fridge. Close that up and moving on to the freezer. Welcome to my freezer. First things first, what is this? Whoa, what? Ice cream sandwiches, are you kidding me? These are so good. Vanilla, non-dairy, frozen dessert sandwiches from Trader Joe's. These are new and they're amazing. Highly recommend. These are delicious, also from Trader Joe's. If you notice, I do a lot of shopping at Trader Joe's. Um, Thai vegetable gyozas. 
Oh, these are really good. I uh, usually just eat them as an appetizer with coconut aminos. Instead of soy sauce, coconut aminos is where it's at, especially with these. I got a little loose uh, strawberry popsicle, <laughs> also from Trader Joe's. You can get these at Trader Joe's, super good. Super refreshing. Now we got some ice cream going on, some Netflix and chilled. This ice cream is my personal favorite right now, made with almond milk, Ben and Jerry's. Super good. Trader Joe's has this one, this okie dokie, uh, oat, non-dairy, frozen dessert. It's okay, not my favorite, but it's vegan. Cocoa whip, coconut whipped toffee. This is made by So Delicious, and it's amazing. So good. It's just like, a, it's a, it's not, it's kind of like whipped cream, but it's frozen, put on top of like pies and that kind of thing. I recently found these at Trader Joe's. These are impossible chicken nuggets. And they're delicious. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know they're vegan. Give them to a non-vegan, they won't know. I bet you. Made from plants, impossible. Get them at Trader Joe's, they're delicious. So some more frozen items going on here. This tempura cauliflower. Little bit on the spicy side, but super good. Really, really good. Uh, also from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried these yet. I just found these at Trader Joe's. Haven't had them yet. Organic veggie bites, bite-sized tots with organic vegetables and sunflower seeds. So it's nice to have like frozen things, you know, if you're uh, tired or you, you know, get home late from work or whatever. Just quick, easy dinners, you know. Can't, all, can't always make a homemade fresh meal. So these, having some frozen meals are super good. These are also delicious. Vegetable spring rolls from Trader Joe's, kale, edamame, mushrooms, and tofu. And again, make sure you use coconut aminos, which you can get at Trader Joe's or pretty much any store. Way better than soy sauce. Delicious. I got frozen fruit because I make a bunch of smoothies. Again, check out my Instagram for the smoothie recipes. Fr uh, strawberries, blueberries, Dr. Prager's. California Veggie Burgers. Dr. Prager's is a really good brand. Haven't had these yet. They've actually been in my freezer for a while. I didn't know what to do with them. These are some uh, crabless cakes made by Gardein. Uh, they have a ton of meal uh, substitutes, Gardein. Again, you get these in most fr frozen, in the freezers and most groceries. Sometimes we, uh, we just have some frozen rice. All you have to do is heat it up, ready in three minutes, or you can microwave it. Again, if you're in a hurry, or you just want a quick dinner, boom. Some organic jasmine rice from Trader Joe's, Ben and Jerry's, non-dairy cherry Garcia. I forgot I had that. That is it for the freezer. Let's head on over to the pantry. Welcome, welcome to my pantry. Ta -da! So let's dive right in. As you can see over here on the side, I got my collector's edition breakfast of champions, Wheaties. Um, and then up top, I got some pastas. Uh, these are, this is a green lentil, kale, broccoli, and spinach pasta. So it's like a superfood pasta. So most people think like, oh, carbs are bad. That's a lie. Especially when you're gonna eat pasta, like superfood pasta. Another superfood by, made by the same brand. I don't even know how to say it. Sibeli's. This one's green lentil, cauliflower, and parsnip. Most of these are also loaded with protein as well. Like tons of protein in these pastas because they have lentils in them. So that one, and then I got a red lentil rotini from Ancient Harvest. And see how much protein's in this one. This is red lentil flour and organic quinoa flour. Two ingredients. This is four servings per container. A lot, I don't know, like almost 60 grams of protein in one box of pasta. This one's my personal favorite, the red lentil from Trader Joe's. One ingredient, organic red lentil flour, and six servings per container, 15 grams a serving. So 90 grams of protein in this tiny, in this little bag. You wanna know where vegans get their protein? Right here, boy. Red lentils. Panko breadcrumbs I used in my meatballs last night. We make homemade popcorn. You know, on the, on the stove top, heat up some oil, throw in the kernels, fresh popcorn, throw in some melted Miyoko's butter, some nutritional yeast, yeah. Some not cornbread, that's right. Delicious. This Annie's mix is vegan, and you know, it's just, it's just the uh, dry ingredients. So even though it's not, you know, marketing to vegans, 
you know, they say to add the milk and eggs, you just add a flax egg and some oat milk and you got vegan pancakes and vegan waffles. Easy. I like doing instant oats in the morning, it's just super quick and easy. So this is a Trader Joe's one, instant oatmeal. This is a Trader Joe's a pumpkin one. Um, so all you have to do is, you know, pour hot water over it and then you can add your chia seeds, your flax seeds, your peanut butter, and a little bit of oat milk and you're good to go. If you're in a hurry, super good breakfast, take with you on the go. Organic cornflakes from Trader Joe's and Nature's Path Raisin Bran. I don't like Raisin Bran, don't tell my wife. Boy, it's gross. King, little nut trail mix medley, some oat flour. I, I bake with oat flour a lot. Peanut butter, this is an Adams. And then Trader Joe's sourdough. It's a little mini sourdough loaf I get from Trader Joe's. I use sourdough for my avocado toast because it makes it like 10 times better. Purely Elizabeth granola. This is really good. So I pair it with the yogurt I showed you in my fridge, a little bit of granola, super good snack or breakfast. And my wife's allergic to almonds, but she can eat this granola. Uh, dried mango, it's like vegan candy. Get this at Trader Joe's, you can get it anywhere. But uh, super good snack. Dandy's makes vegan marshmallows. Who would have thought? You can make Rice Krispie treats or make s'mores over the fire. You know, going vegan, you don't have to miss out on anything. Trust me, I eat everything. I eat, every I eat it all, you've seen. You see my ice cream and my marshmallow. I made lasagna, let's see. This is a Durham Semolina 100% organic lasagna noodles. Again, check out my Instagram, the recipe's on there. Organic black beans from Trader Joe's. This is the best coconut sugar. This is the best sugar out there. Organic, where's the ingredients? Organic coconut sugar, that's it. Organic from Trader Joe's. You can get coconut sugar anywhere, but it's way better for you than the crappy sugars out there. I use this for, um, for everything. Coffee, I use mud water instead of coffee for baking, for oatmeal, sweeteners, everything. I use coconut sugar. For ramen, Annie Chun's. Vegan ramen for when you're sick, or you just want some ramen. Uh, I got these at Food for Less, certified. It says got the vegan V right there. This is just some um, organic jasmine rice from Trader Joe's. This is Amy's Soups, no chicken noodle. Again, if you're sick, super good soup. We were sick not too long ago, so we still got some of the stuff. Some saltines are vegan. Who doesn't love it? some soup and saltines when you're sick, right? This was really good, it was a soup mix. It's just like the, um, it's a, it's a soup mix. And so, let's see, you just like add, add it to water and you can add veggies and vegetable broth and all that stuff. Really good, really good for you. Bob's red milk, bread. When I'm baking, I use an unbleached, all-purpose organic flour, Bob's red meal, or Trader Joe's has one as well. Organic, unbleached, all-purpose flour. Because uh, well, this is really good, you know, like I made, we made pizza, we made uh, vegan pretzels, you know, to dip in the cheese sauce. So this is good. It's really hard. Once you start messing with flowers, it's really hard to like, like when you're gluten free and you're doing like we, I have the other flowers here, like uh, coconut flour. Once you start mixing different flowers, it's really hard when it comes to baking. I think that is everything. I got some bananas on the counter some avocados, some sweet potatoes, some potatoes, but that's everything. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of like a behind the scenes, little like sneak peek into my refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. And just to let you know how easy it is to be vegan these days and how affordable and possible. It's never been easier in the history of the world to be vegan. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what other kind of vegan videos you want to see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and plants.